Let's get started by navigating to the stock footage folder. Once in the stock footage folder, let's go ahead and drag the Golden Gate Bridge down to the video track. Go ahead and drop it right on the timeline. And now let's go ahead and navigate to the Home Movie Essentials Volume 1 folder. Once in there, let's go ahead and drag the Projector Room Green down to the Overlay track, which will be below the video track. Now add the chroma key effect to the overlay layer by using the video overlay effects from the menu toolbar. Go ahead and click the chroma key tab. And put a check to enable chroma keying. Now you can see the video behind the projector room. The San Francisco Bridge footage is oversized for the projector room clip. So let's go ahead and resize that by clicking the picture in picture tab. And one way to do it is to drag the resize handles. But sometimes this is a little difficult. It's actually easier to manually assign the size parameters. So let's go ahead and click the Add an Effect button. And this will allow us to manually specify the size parameters and location for the video clip inside the projector room chroma key. Let's go ahead and change the following. Make the horizontal 14, the vertical 5, the width 60, and the height 60. And this should position and size the video clip properly. Now, notice that the San Francisco Bridge footage is correctly sized and positioned. Let's go ahead and copy our projector room clip to fill out the remaining timeline of our footage. Go ahead and select the projector room clip in the overlay track by clicking on it. And let's use the edit copy and then edit paste menu commands to easily duplicate the clips and fill in the remaining part of the timeline. This allows the overlay track to match the video track. In this case, we'll go ahead and need to paste two times. And now we need to simply adjust the overlay track time to match the video track. To do this, it's a little easier if you zoom in so that you can see the timeline better. We hit our zoom button a couple of times. And now let's go ahead and select the last clip and drag it until it snaps to the end of the video track. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and play our video and see the results.